right? Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, ES6, use getters and setters to control access to an object. All right. So we can obtain values from an object and set the value of a property within an object. These are classically called getters and setters. Getter functions are meant to simply return get the value, pardon me, return or get the value of an object's private variable to the user without the user directly accessing the private variable. I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure we'll learn more about it later. Uh, the setter functions are meant to modify or set the value of an object's private variable based on the value passed into the setter function. I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what private variable you means. Should we look it up? We can, watch. Private variable JavaScript, boom. All right, private class features. Uh, no, <laughs> we'll learn about that later. Uh, this change could involve calculations or even overriding the previous value completely. Okay, cool. Uh, so, for example, we've got class book, we've got the constructor author, and then we've got this dot author, and then there's going to be a uh, underscore in front of author, and that equals author. And so for the getter, we're going to get writer, all right? So I guess we're making writer, and it's going to return this dot author, this dot underscore author, I should say. And then we've got this setter, and it sets writer. It's going to be set writer and update author. And this dot underscore author now equals whatever updated author thing we put in there. So if we do const novel equals new book and anonymous, uh, if we do const dot log novel dot writer, it'll give us uh, novel dot writer, novel dot writer. Okay, so novel dot this, okay, it'll give us anonymous, right? Uh, but if we do novel dot writer now equals new author, it's going to do the setter thing and say this dot author like this. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So novel dot writer is invoking this thing right here. And this thing, when it does, it changes this to whatever updated thing is. And in this case, it's going to be the string new author. So when we do console dot log novel dot writer again, it's going to give us new author instead of anonymous. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so now let's reiterate this and go through it a little bit more deeply. Uh, the console would display the strings anonymous first, okay, and new author second, okay? So notice the syntax used to invoke the getter and setter. They do not even look like functions. Not, not too much, not too much. They kind of do though, whatever. Uh, getters and they do not even look like, well, whatever. So getters and setters are important because they hide internal implementation detail. Okay. Notice the syntax to invoke. Oh, the, to invoke it. So this is invoking it. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is to invoke it. And this looks like the, the function, but this doesn't look like a function. All right, cool. You do not to be. All right, so note, it is, a con it is convention to precede the name of a private variable with an underscore. Okay, so these are private variables. That's what that means. Okay, uh, however, the practice itself does not make a variable private, okay? So now we're going to use the class, I wonder what does make it private. I guess doing the getter and setter makes it private. All right, cool, anyway. Uh, so now we're gonna use the class keywords to create a thermostat class over here, uh, the constructor accepts a Fahrenheit temperature. So in the class, we're gonna create a getter to obtain the temperature in Celsius and a setter to set the temperature in Celsius, okay? So we're gonna remember that Celsius equals five over, pardon me, five divided by nine times uh, F minus 32 in parentheses, where F is Fahrenheit and C is Celsius, and then F equals C times nine divided by five plus 32, right? And again, where F is the value, blah, blah, we went through that. Uh, so note, when we implement this, we will track the temperature inside the class in one scale, either Fahrenheit or Celsius, okay? So this is the power of a getter and a setter. We are creating an API 
API, API JavaScript. Uh, and then there's that. <laughs> I guess it has something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go over that later too, probably. Uh, so we're creating an API for another user who can get the correct result regardless of which one we track. So in other words, we are abstracting implementation details from the user. Do you got any other words, like words that we can understand? Anyway, sorry guys. Uh, so let's get on, let's get into this, all right? So first things first, we're gonna make this class thermostat, all right? So let's start with that. We'll say class thermostat, like that. And now we're gonna have curly braces like this this how about that and inside here we're going to start off with constructor and for this one we're going to do uh, it's going to give us the temperature we're going to obtain the temperature in celsius and the constructor accepts a fahrenheit temperature okay so constructor f for fahrenheit let's do that uh and then we're going to say this dot so we'll have another set of curly braces right here. We'll say this dot and then underscore F equals F like that. So we're making this private variable, this dot underscore F now equals whatever we pass into here. Okay. So we we've taken care of the constructor part. Let's do the getter now. So now we're going to get and we're going to get temperature, temperature like this. Let's have the, uh, oops, let's have the uh, parentheses right after that. And then we're going to have the curly braces like this, right? So it's just like get writer. we got get temperature like that, right? So now we're going to return, return. And since we're turning it into Celsius, uh, we're going to return 5 over 9 times F minus 32. So yoink. We'll take that right there, copy it, throw this in there. But instead of F, we're going to be doing this dot F. Okay, this dot. So this dot underscore F. All right. So we're putting this constructor into this right here. And it's going to return that. All right. So now we're going to set the next one. So we're going to set temperature. So set temperature and this time we've got to put something in there so we're going to put thermos no thermos no uh c how about that c for celsius All right so we're going to set temperature like that and then what we're going to do is say this we'll say this dot underscore f equals and so we'll do the Celsius conversion over here. So we'll do C, what is it? C times nine divided by five plus 32 like that. I can always forget my, my uh, whatever these things are. All right, the uh, semicolons, all right? So that should be, no, it's not good enough. All right, this dot this, what's the problem? This dot author equals that. What's the problem here? Set temperature C. Oh, we didn't put the curly braces. Curly braces, boom. Let's get this. Take it, put it in here. That should take care of business. Okay. So now let's do a console.log temp. Let's see. Console.log temp. All right. We're targeting this thing right here. So thermos.temperature, it's doing this right here thermos dot temperature equals 26 so it's changing what thermos was in the beginning to 26 and so now it's 26 let's say thermos on here uh console.log thermos like that 78.8 so it started at 76 and that was 24.44 in celsius but then we changed it to 26 celsius and so this number went up from 76 to 78.8. That's the way I see it at least. So hopefully that's good. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to create a module script and we'll 
see you next time.